Right, another question from Tracy. When a pressure valve is changed, is it part of the geyser repairs? Question mark. I know that pressure valves regulate the pressure, but are they part of geyser repairs? This is one for both of us, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, it is covered as a geyser repair. It is covered as a geyser repair. Um, although it has nothing to do with the geyser, actually, it is covered under the geyser repair section and, and, and does get the um, get a geyser repair excess and limit. Um, and as a result, is covered under the repair. But interestingly enough, absolutely no relation between the pressure control valve and the geyser other than the rating must match or be less. Okay, so from an insurance point of view, strictly speaking, if the pressure release valve is down at the bottom, um, far away from the geyser, outside, and the geyser's up in the ceiling, strictly speaking, it's not within one meter of the geyser, so most of the insurance covers, therefore, our policies would therefore not really respond. But uh, it's a matter of, well, was it within one meter of the geyser? Okay, so that's the real insurance viewpoint. Glenn, happy with that? Uh, yeah, they, they, they're looking at it. Um, yeah, um, they are allowing it to go um, because I think, I think the realistic side is that it's not always a meter from the geyser. Um, whether that's right or wrong, I, I, I can't tell you, but that's what they're allowing. It makes sense to be that. As long as it's all within the limit. That's it. Got to be within the limit.